and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I hope you're enjoying your flight today. We'll be landing in the airport in approximately 15 minutes. I just got back from KBiz, Las Vegas. Guys, I'll tell you what, there are so many things to talk about. This event is huge. It all started out for me. I am literally in the parking lot at Circus Circus doing LinkedIn Live. Anyway, guys, I'm out here and I kind of want to get in, put my bags away and stuff like that. It's funny because I got to town really early thinking, look, if I get here early, I can do my life. Things will be great. I get to the hotel, not even thinking. All the rooms are full. I can't even get into the room and get Wi-Fi. So what I do is I go out to the parking lot, out back where the buses are pulling up, already shuttling people over to the convention, and I set up and I don't even use Wi-Fi. I do LinkedIn Live from my iPad right there in the corner of the parking lot at Circus Circus. I've done crazy things before. That was funny. And watching the people walk by on the other side of the little fence where I had my camera set up, I was wondering if I was going to have to chase anybody down and get my stuff back. But everything went well. I'm going to show you some video clips that we've put together. And guys, it's video clips of some of the best booths I walked in. Some of them, it was just like, okay, what is this? But I tell you what. Getting there and getting to walk around with my camera and shoot and video and have fun. Guys, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I really hope you enjoy some of these video clips as much as I did. KBiz and iBiz, the kitchen and bath industry show and the international builder show are phenomenal. The Las Vegas Convention Center is freaking huge. Each building is probably the size of four football fields, and there are three buildings. You've got the south, you've got the center, and you've got the north. After walking, my legs hurt, my back hurt, my body hurt. I'm an old man, but I tell you what, I loved it so much, I kept going. And I love the fact that the NKBA, the National Kitchen and Bath Association, invited me to come to Vegas. The really cool thing about it was they invited me to go down and talk to some kids and tour them around and show them what's going on. We'll cover all that in another video, but in this one here, I want to tell you what all I got to see, who all I got to talk to, and how much fun I had. What I love about going to the show is it's like the best plumbing trade show there is far as I'm concerned. This year, they kind of mixed up the IBS and KBiz. You had builder trades, you had plumbing, you had kitchen, you had everything together. But I tell you what, I found some really cool things that I liked. Infinity Drain was really cool. You ever been to those hotel showers that have the long slot trench type drain? I love those. I've always thought those were really cool. Well, this company actually manufactures them and shows different ways to install them with different shower pan material. I love the fact that they're talking old school. This is a vinyl shower pan liner. Well, yeah, I just installed two of those last week, but I'm an old school plumber. There's new materials coming, and I love the fact that I got to see and learn some of that. But the Infinity Drain is pretty cool. Really had a good time getting to see their product, getting to learn about it, and getting to watch the demonstrations where they show how it goes together and how it all gets done. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Other new products, you know, you, you hear about products from different companies. Remote leak detection is going to be popular. It's growing. It's getting to become a big deal. I love going because I'm working with a company out of Hawaii that has something different. Now, they weren't there this year, but looking at the other products that are kind of similar or close to this, I can look at each one of these and tell you what's wrong with it and why it doesn't work. So it was neat to get to see what's out there. All the tankless were there, Navian, Noritz, Renai. I got to go see them, visit them, look at them, see what they did. Viega, that's one that I really had fun in their booth. Thoroughly enjoyed meeting their people 
and getting to see what all it is that they have. Look, guys, you've heard me talk about ProPress and how much I love it. That's a good product. They've increased size. So now I believe she said it goes up to four inch, which to me is fantastic. Knowing that product out there is like this as a plumber and being in the plumbing industry allows you to look at it and say, okay, I can change the way I do things. That's what this is all about. What are you doing to separate yourself from everybody else in the trade. And by going to shows like this and seeing new tools, new techniques, new materials, these are things that will really make your life easier because it's gonna make you smarter and put you ahead of the, the competition, everybody else. The booths that I really did enjoy, of course, American Standard and Kohler always have two of the best booths out there. And I tell you what, they both make great product. American Standard, You've got Lixel, you've got DXV, and you got Growy. And I tell you what, man, their displays are always phenomenal. And like I said, they've always got a huge booth and a big presentation there. Kohler, I tell you what, Kohler's booth is phenomenal. They they have the rain showers. They they have all these different showers done and set up and working. So you get to see it run. You get to see it function. I also like their bidets. And I tell you what, guys, the bidet toilets, these are going to be popular. If you're not in plumbing and you're a general contractor or something, start making sure you're putting an electrical outlet behind the toilet where it can be accessible. Because I'm telling you, there are things coming that you're going to want to be able to plug your toilet in. I know that sounds weird, but guys, it's coming. It's true. So Kohler and American Standard, fantastic. Now, Moen, Price Fister, Delta, man, there were some really good products there. The other neat things or just saying what's coming in the future, what tools are out there that you look at and you're like, wow, I hadn't really thought of that. It's really interesting to see how things change. Walking in the new kitchen displays, going in to see NSYNC Curator. I tell you what, I love their displays. The way they have things set up, the way they present everything is phenomenal. And being out there and getting to see it and see how they do it and what they do is fantastic. My big deal that I really enjoyed and part of what I enjoyed about going to KBiz most this year was getting to see Matt Risinger. Y'all that know him know he's got the Build channel here on YouTube, but I tell you what, he's down in Austin. He does a lot of cool stuff and he talks about plumbing a lot. Being in Texas and talking about plumbing, eh, I'm right on board with that. My good thing about it is I actually got to talk to his videographer and I got to talk to Matt. I tell you, I really hope that Matt and I get to do something together. We talked about a collaboration. We're not very far from Austin. He's not very far from Dallas. And I actually go to Austin every chance I get. My question to you here is, other than me, who do you watch on YouTube? Is there anybody out there that you think I should collaborate with? And if so, do me a favor. Go to one of their videos where they talk about plumbing and say, hey, have you ever thought about collaborating with Roger Wakefield? If you go over to Matt Risinger's channel and you get on one where he's talking about plumbing, ask him, have you thought about collaborating with Roger Wakefield? Because I'm telling you, we've talked about it, and I think that's something that may happen. Here's the thing about KBiz, and I call it KBiz, it's KBiz and it's IBiz, I get it. But the National Kitchen and Bath Association does a fantastic job here. And I love the opportunity that they gave me to come out there and get to do the things I got to do. Number one, getting out there and getting to walk around and see all the things that affect my industry, phenomenal. I loved it. So my question to you is, do you go to trade shows? What trade shows do you go to? And do you get anything out of them? Because me, I love it and I have a lot of fun. As you can see from the video, I got around quite a bit and coming home, I tell you what, I don't think I've ever had a better view of Dallas and I don't think I've ever been happier to see Dallas and get home. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you on the next video if you don't get flushed.